Undefeatable Superhumans, the Shaolin Monks. Shaolin Monks, a consortium that purposes their lives for achieving excellence spiritually, physically, and mentally. But how do they do that? We'll discuss that today. Welcome to the Top 10 World. Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't already. And now, without further ado, let's dig right into the meat. The Shaolin Monastery, otherwise called the Shaolin Temple, is a Chan Buddhist sanctuary situated in Dengfeng County, Henan Province, China. It's widely accepted that it was established in the 5th century. The Shaolin Temple is the principal sanctuary of the Shaolin School of Buddhism right up till today. And the occupants of this sanctuary are known as the Shaolin Monks. Historically, the Shaolin Temple was situated in a lawless territory and was often the target of bandits. The monks were often attacked and robbed. For this reason, physical training took the form of a basic self-defense system. Later, they introduced weapon systems. Due to their extreme discipline and cultivation practices, the monks incorporated an aspect of spirituality and mental control into their fighting arts. The daily life of the monks at the Shaolin Temple is not changed and is the same as it used to be in ancient times. It includes practicing Chan Buddhism, Kung Fu, and dealing with the temple affairs, like cleaning, managing farms, and guarding the area. The typical daily schedule includes early rising, sitting Qing Zhang, training physically by practicing Kung Fu, taking morning lessons, and then going for their breakfast. Post-breakfast, adults indulge in their commercial and economic affairs, while children and elders attend Buddhist lessons till lunchtime. After lunch, the monks take a good one and a half hour rest and then comes the extensive physical and combat training session. Post this session, monks take evening lessons and then go for dinner. Let us tell you they don't go to bed after all this grind because they have a post-dinner physical training session, and in this session, they review all those exercises they performed in the afternoon session. Finally, they go to bed and have a good night's sleep to empower them for the next busy day. This kind of tough routine is one major reason behind their superhuman capabilities as their minds and bodies are programmed to pull off a lot more than a normal human can do. Talking about their attire, since Shaolin is a Buddhist monastery, so it's natural that the monks wear robes of the traditional Buddhist color, at least when taking part in religious activities and rituals. However, when martial monks practice their kung fu, they do not wear Buddhist robes but a much more practical light brown outfit. Their training. Shaolin monks can perform incredible feats of mental and physical prowess that appear impossible. They balance precariously for hours in a crouching position on wooden posts buried in the ground. They bang their heads against each other to harden their skulls and repeatedly strike vessels of water and other objects to develop palm strength. They run up and down stone stairways on all fours without getting tired. They hang upside down and do headstands for long periods. These monks carry out these exercises seemingly with ease. While many of their extraordinary acts seem like stunts, they're not. These monks spend many hours a day honing their skills. It takes practice, training, and mental discipline to carry out these incredible feats of strength. In all practices of the 72 arts at first, the basic theory is taught, and only then exercises are performed. At first, those who practice the arts train the softness of their sinews and bones and try to agile all their joints and articulations. Then they set into motion and these exercises strengthen their internal organs, improve blood state, consolidate body strength, control the cinnabar field, and concentrate energy in it. An added benefit of all these exercises is that they also help them overcome their desires and other requirements. In every class, the monks perform monkey jumps and duck walking as a warm-up, and that also helps in building up lower body strength and stamina. Shaolin training includes gymnastics, but at a more advanced level. These forms include a lot of acrobatic moves, so the explosive and athletic ability is constantly nourished. In the traditional kung fu drills, the stances are very low, and this strengthens the leg muscles over time. The monks often run on the Great Wall of China, which is very steep, and also perform frog jumps, which is why they have immaculate leg muscles. Shaolin's power is in the mind, and that meaningfully enhances physical strength and stamina level. Their attitude to pain is that it's good. 
They constantly push past pain barriers in training, and that enables them to think of pain as something that's in their head and is entirely under their command. All these exercises and pieces of training make the monks simply unsurmountable. For instance, an arm weighing only 10 gens or 5 kilograms becomes capable enough to displace an object weighing 10,000 gens or equivalently 5,000 kilograms within a single stroke. Their diet. You will be surprised to know that the Shaolin monks don't eat meat at all, yet they have boundless energy. These monks fulfill their protein requirements from beans, tofu, milk, and nuts. Their breakfast consists of a soup made of beans called Eight Treasures. At lunch, they consume a meal that consists of five to six different vegetables, tofu, and rice. They do not drink tea or other liquids with meals to aid digestion as their routine itself is an impeccable catalyst. Finally, for dinner, noodles are served with bread, and the bread they eat is of black or yellow wheat. Marital Life At the temple, sexual relations are forbidden, and monks usually do not marry. As we've talked earlier that monks are trained in a way that they get over their sexual desires, but the temple does not impose any bounds on its occupants after they pass out of it. A monk who leaves the temple may marry without losing his status as a monk. Many monks who have left the temple are spending beautiful married lives in both the U.S. and U.K. Medical Monitoring Injuries, highly likely during such intense training sessions, and to deal with that, monks have their hospital, and in that hospital, Western medicine is not used. They use their indigenous medicinal techniques to deal with all the ailments and injuries. They only make use of Western technology for diagnosis purposes. In addition to that, after every two weeks, mental progress due to meditation and training is monitored by using EEG testing. EEG is an acronym for electroencephalogram. It's a test that detects abnormalities in the electrical activity of your brain. The Outreach Program The Shaolin Temple also has an outreach program for spreading its message and training to new groups of people. In the temple itself, there are two groups, monks and practitioners. Monks have devoted their lives to the temple, and practitioners may one day leave it to spread their wisdom and skills to the world at large. Their message. If you ever manage to get across a monk and ask him for guidance, his message to you would be somewhat like this. Harsh words can scar a person for life. Love. Don't be selfish. Do daily acts of kindness. Be nice. Pray a lot. Practice a lot. With practice comes wisdom. Wisdom brings advancement each day while pain brings growth, and that's how we learn. So guys, we believe now you have a fair idea of what makes the Shaolin monks simply unsurmountable. That's been it from our side. If you enjoy our content, do consider subscribing, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.